Why should you be baptized? Let me give you three quick reasons why you and every Christian should be baptized. First, it's to follow Jesus' example. In Mark chapter 1, verse 9, here's what Mark records about Jesus. Here's what he says. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. At the beginning of Jesus' ministry, he was publicly baptized by his cousin John the Baptist. Now, Jesus wasn't baptized because he needed to be saved or cleansed from his sins because he was the sinless Son of God. But, rather, he was baptized to set the example for what it looked like to be a part of his Father's kingdom. Baptism was that public declaration that you are aligning yourself with Jesus and with the kingdom of God and are trusting him with your life. In a sense, Jesus was saying, those who believe in me will do what I do. Now, the second reason why you should get baptized is to obey Jesus' command. Look at this in Matthew 28, verse 19, says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. We call these verses in Scripture the Great Commission because they are the commissioning or sending out of Jesus' followers to reach all nations with the gospel. Did you notice the two things that he commanded that they should do? Baptize new believers and teach them to obey the word of God. You see, baptism is equally as important to your Christian walk as following the teachings of Jesus. We also see the method of baptism is to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Baptism is a public declaration of belief in the Trinity, the Father God, Jesus His Son, and the Holy Spirit who indwells us. Baptism isn't an optional addition to your salvation. Baptism is your commanded first step of obedience after salvation, after receiving Jesus as your Savior and Lord. And although baptism doesn't save you, baptism is the sign of your salvation. When it comes to following the teachings of Jesus in your life, if you've never taken this first step of obedience, it's going to be nearly impossible to obey in other areas as well. So, start with step one, baptism, and move on from there. Here's the third reason that you should get baptized. It's to proclaim the new you. Paul writes these words in his letter to the church in Corinth. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. Again, God doesn't want secret Christians. Why? Because secrecy becomes a barrier to living out a changed life in Jesus. You're not the same person you once were. You are a new creation. And if you keep it a secret, you'll be tempted to go back to your old ways. Not only that, but by keeping it a secret, you'll hinder God from using your story of life change to reach the people around you. Yes, your story of salvation is about you, but it's not just for you. You see, God wants to use your story for His glory and for others' good. When people see the change in you, it gives them hope that God can change them too. So, let the world know that you are all in when it comes to following Jesus and see what God will do through you. Now, back to my wedding ring for a moment. What would you think if I took off my wedding ring every time I went out in public? What would that say about my commitment? What would that say about my love for my wife? How do you think my wife would feel if she knew I was doing that? The answer is pretty obvious. Here's my question. Is your decision to follow Jesus the real deal? If it is, then don't hide it. Be proud of it 
and let Jesus and everyone else know by your actions that you're all in and there's no turning back. Have you taken that next step through baptism? If not, it's time. Your next step is to talk to a pastor or a group leader today and get it set up.